All right, here we are. Welcome to my Franken hydronic demo. So my goal here today is to show the difference between a two, three, and four pipe buffer system. And I thought making this visual would help people see exactly what's going on in here. So I'm going to start and show what happens with a two pipe uh, connection to a buffer tank. So what I have here is let's call this the boiler pump. And I'm going to pump out of the bottom of the tank, out of the bottom of the header in this case, and back up to the upper one. Now the other pump, let's call that my distribution, I'm going to push into the bottom and I'm going to push hot water out to my distribution which is assumed in the back of this here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some red dye when these pumps are running. I've got them set at a, both the exact same flow rate, as close as I can get it anyways, within a tenth of a gallon I'm hoping. And what should happen is when I inject some red dye here, you should see that flow just going through these two headers and no or very little interaction with the tank. I don't want to see water going from the top to the bottom and the connections inside the tank. So let me start them up and we'll squirt some juice in there and see if it proves out like I think it should. So take a little Pete's plug right here, a little syringe with some red food coloring. Okay, we've got that in there. Now I'm going to start both these pumps. I'll start the boiler pump first. And it should take that fluid, should appear up here. You might see a little push in there just from the force of the pump when it first it's on. Now I'm going to start up my distribution pump and you'll see the color is just blending right in here. I had like I say a little squirt in there but there's no movement from the top to the bottom of the tank and that's important. I don't want to stir the tank. I want all the load and all the uh, output from the boiler going directly to boiler directly to the load. No interference with the tank in there. So I think that proves that out pretty well. So next we're going to go over and we'll do a four port where we're going to actually flow across the tank and you'll see I'll put a different color in there and you can see the interaction with the tank when I put the um, the four port connection together here. So let's give that a try and see what happens. The other thing while you're here, before you go, I want to show you too a thing that surprised me as I put this together and was trying different things, is I put a little air pump in the bottom of this, a little aquarium pump, and I was impressed with how well this tank eliminates air. Even with the pumps running, when I get the other pump running, there's flow going right through that air that's coming up from the bottom of the tank on my little aquarium pump here, but the uh, you can see the float, the coffee float air vent I made on the top there out of some clear plastic gets, looks like it's getting almost 100% of the air that's coming out of there. I don't see any of it appearing in my pumps as it runs. So that was a win for me and that was a, a surprise. So let's go on to the four port. All right, so now what we're going to do is I've got this tank connected as a four port buffer. I've got two connections over there, two connections over here. I'm going to run my boiler pump again, the first pump over here. But this time, instead of running the distribution pump from the headers here, I'm going to run it from the other side of the tank. And so I'm going to squirt some blue dye in here this time and what you should see is a blue dye going across the tank and that's going to indicate when we use a four port buffer that we're really involved in the tank capacity. So let's get started here. Got a little bit of blue dye in my syringe here. It's just to offset the red that I had in the first. A little bit on my hand. <laughs> now I'm going to start the first pump over here, blend it up a little bit. See my color coming from the bottom of the top header. Now let me turn the pump on on the other side and see what happens now differently than the two pipe. Immediately it squirts across and you can see it going across the secondary loop over there. And in a minute here you'll see it in the bottom and it stirs up the tank. And I've also kicked on my air. I don't know how well you can see it with the color in there, but you can see the air coming up as the fluid is going across here. The air is still coming up and you can see it coming through my separator over here as it's running. So it's an indication that our air separation, even with flow across the tank, is still uh, doing a pretty good job and that now you can see uh, the whole tank is blended blue which that may or may not de be desirable we'll talk about that so there's the demo two pipe four pipe buffer three pipe is similar we can show that uh, but um, yeah let me know what you think of all this thanks